Cobra, action! Come back! That was a great shot! Stay in the frame. A bit more to the left. That's it! Beautiful! Hey man, at least the man was true to his craft, you know? Jeepers! Can you believe we're going to the Milton Brothers movie lot? Do you think we'll see any movie stars, Velma? Velma, are you still in that book? What? Oh, oh you mean the Sorry. Tomb of the Damned? I haven't read anything as fascinating since the hidden history of you mean the fucking <laughs> Necronomicon? Critters. <laughs> Even Shaggy and Scooby find it gripping. Like, like you can be reading the fucking, <laughs> like you reading the book of of all power, right? And motherfuckers will still call you a nerd for it. Oh brother! Her eyes can start glowing in the dark and shit. And Vel and Daphne will still be like, "Velma, you're a fucking nerd, reading your damn books." All right, I'm leaving. You know where to reach me if you change your mind. Oh my god. I'll oh. never sell to you, Zabrinsky. All these familiar voices. Sorry, kids. Visits are off today. <sighs> and forever. Don't worry. My brother Doug's just a little left. Uh, don't worry. My brother well, Doug's gonna... He's, you know. <laughs> well, don't you worry, sir. We're Mystery Inc. And we'll get rid of your ghost problem in no time. Mr. Milton. We? I'm a big fan of your films. My favorite is Gone with the Tin Roof. Can I get your autograph? Oh, why, well, sure. You know, I was almost nominated for best director on that one. Oh, this is fantastic. Earl, did you call these kids? Right-o, Daddy-o. I heard about these cats from Jimmy over at Sunshine Studios. Rat? Where? Studio A is where it all started. You think Scooby calling cats rats is a speech impediment, but no, that's just a racial slur. What about that man we saw when we arrived? Oh, that's Robert Zabrinsky from Greenwood Development. He's been trying to buy the studio from us. Okay, here's the plan. Scooby and Shaggy, you scout Studio A. Daphne and I will look for clues in Studio B. And I'll check out the rest of the lot with the Milton brothers. Like what about the cafeteria? <laughs> we don't have a cafeteria. We use caterers. I think there's some food left inside the... <laughs> Damn. <laughs> like the character of Scooby and Shaggy is literally just literally just the beginning of Friday after the next. <laughs> Motherfucker, what are you doing in my house? Making yourself a big ass sandwich and shit. <laughs> oh yeah, I love that scene. That's that's a perfect way to start a movie. Dude dressed up as Santa Claus, robbing you blind, <laughs> taking your Christmas presents. <laughs> but he stops and starts making a sandwich in your house. <laughs> and instead of going like, yo, you're robbing me, the first thing you say is, why the fuck are you in my house making a big ass sandwich? <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, priorities, right? Who the fuck are you? <laughs> why are you in my house <laughs> making a big ass sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's been a while since I laughed about that shit. Uh, all right. Let's explore over here. Now that I got, now that I got the little giggles out of my system, right? Come here, come here, you spooky mother! Oh god, the controls are not good. <laughs> They need like a dodge button, right? Like a dedicated dodge button. Like I'm really trying to see if there's one for... Yeah, no, not really. I guess you just walk out the way, huh? Come on, ghosty. Get your... Get your kindness over here. One last ghost roaming free. There we go. Right, right, 
Oh shit, poltergeist? The fuck did you just throw at me? <laughs> what did you just throw at me? A fucking mace? Mace and shields and shit? Okay. Backstage key. Oh my god. Camera angle over here is not doing me any favors. Don't worry, I'll come back for you two. I'll be sure of that. And there is the, um... There's a hole up here, right? I think I can get the clue through there. So let me... Scootle, let me... Scoobal my little boodle over there. You make your own sandwich, bitch. And <laughs> bring me back a sandwich, he says. The fuck I look like, your girlfriend? <laughs> that was sexist. <laughs> I'm trying to think what, uh, I'm trying to think, oh, <laughs> I remember what it was now. There was a, uh, there was a movie that came out this year, like a really shitty, like terrible, like horror movie, like really bad. Like you shouldn't watch it at all unless you just want to see absolute garbage. Uh, called Croc, right? And basically, it's it's this wedding that gets crashed by a killer crocodile, and the CGI is terrible, and you can just tell it's a it's an indie film. It got that that wonderful like fucking Z tier indie stank off of it. You know what I mean? <laughs> and like, there's a moment in the movie where like you know pe multiple people have died to this crocodile or whatever, and um. <laughs> One of the characters is like, all right, I got, wait, what the hell am I doing? I'm looking for, what am I looking for, a switch or something? I should have really paid attention. <laughs> um, but like, you know, Crocodile has killed like multiple people by now. And a character goes like, is there anything I can do? <laughs> you know, and they're like, because they're hold, being holed up in this house, you know, defending themselves. Oh my God, you were really hard to see. Holy shit. Like defending themselves from the crocodile or whatever and someone goes like is there any <laughs> one of the girls go like is there anything i can do and like the the big man of the movie he goes like yeah you can you can make me a sandwich i'm pretty hungry <laughs> and i was watching it with a friend and i just <laughs> i just looked at him i said did he really just look at her and say bitch get in the kitchen <laughs> like what what was that about like crocodile banging down your door trying to kill you <laughs> And she goes like, oh, what can I do to help? He's like, get your ass in the kitchen. Like, <laughs> what? Why? So unnecessary. Got the town key. All right. I'll say, I say it before, but I'll say it once again. Look at the fucking lighting in this game. Look how good that is. That's really good. The shading and lighting in this game is really great. It makes me happy. Fuck out the way, Poltergeist. Oh wait, how the fuck? Oh, over here. Get, get down. Oh, I gotta do it this way. I was confused. I was like, why couldn't I get down? Get down with your bad self. I wish there was like a sprint button. I mean, I am a fucking dog, right? Like, I can haul ass. I mean, shit. Why isn't that, like, the main thing of Scooby-Doo, right? Is, like, Shaggy and Scooby running together. I guess. Really? Did I get damaged by that? What the fuck, man? Um, but, like, why isn't there ever a moment where, like, they're getting chased by the ghosts and... And instead of like Scooby and Shaggy running together, Scooby just like bolts past Shaggy and go like, uh-uh, not today. You're not gonna get me. 
Like, I get it, you know? Dynamic duo, right? Man's best friend and all that, right? But I'm just saying, if me and my dog was being chased, my dog would fucking look at me and say, see you later, bitch. <laughs> and just fucking be gone with the wind. Get in the book. Beautiful. Now you get in the book. Alright, let me see if I can find, um, here we go. I wanted, like, a little bit more energy. Before I try my next capture. Had just enough. Ooh, you almost had me with that one. Let me run over here real quick. Oh, wait, no. Fuck, I'm, <laughs> I'm confusing the green ghost for, like, the, uh, like the big energy. Wait, is this where I came from? Come over here, energy. Come to me. Ah, that's not enough. I'll have to come back. Do I get anything for checking the well? Ah, oh, damn it. Would have been nice, right? Need a key? Fuck you, I need a key. You need a key. A key to my heart. Where the hell do I go? Can I go in this building? This looks like a, a place I can go in. Nope. Oh, fuck. Haha! -ha. Guess who has energy now, bitch? I'm filled up. I'm ready to go. Bring it on, you spooky bitch. Oh shit. Press the wrong button. Come over here. Don't you run away. for the key. Come on, Scooby. There we go. The fuck was the point of this? <laughs> All right, we knocked this over. What what now? I guess I'll come back to that? I don't know. Maybe something connects to it. Oh, this is a big ass place. No, they're not. Castles are always full of suit of armor. What the hell is that? Oh, is that the key? God damn it. Get the fuck- oh my god, it's so hard to aim it. Why did they invert it? Just keep moving to the side and you'll be fine. Get, move the fuck out the way, Shaggy. I'm about to get fucked up out here, aren't I? I'm gonna pick up the key and then everything's gonna come and attack me, right? Because they're after my beautiful, thick scoobiness. Or maybe I just came out here to get some energy? 
Hmm. Okay. Oh, that's Scooby. Always hungry. Do you think... Hmm. I was about to, I was about to say something, but then I, I was in my mind, I'm like, I might regret saying it. <laughs> uh, I was going to say, do you think that like, you know, and since, since weed is now legalized and any of the Scooby incarnations, you would see Shaggy just start rolling up. Right. And like, as I said that my mind went like, oh man, they might do that in the new Velma show. Right. But then at the same time, <laughs> it's like, it's like the first Shaggy that ever rolled up on screen, you know, would be actually, you know what? Technically they already did that. Now I think about it in uh, Harvey Birdman, Ace Attorney. Like, <laughs> I think like, you know, like there's a, there's like a recording of Scoob and Shaggy talking and they sound like they're high, but I think they're talking about like food or something. And then they do the whole trial or whatever. And I think the, I think, don't quote me on this. I think the end of the end of the episode is them going like, good thing we got out of that scot-free, right? <laughs> and then Shaggy goes like, yeah, I was high by the way, <laughs> or some shit like that. I think that's what happened. I'm not sure. I don't remember. Don't quote me on it. Okay. It's been a while since I watched that show. Three. Hmm. been a bit since I saved. I deserve it. Made some pretty good progress. Ruby dooby doo. Okay, one. Uh, I did not pay attention to shit, so I think I'm assuming one and two are down, right? Yeah, three is up. Yeah, one and two is down, three is up. And I guess four. I don't know, I'll just, you know, I'll just figure it out, right? I mean, what, what's the worst that can happen, right? I didn't even, I don't even remember looking for four. Okay, so four is going to be down. And if that's not the combination, then two is, two is up. Okay, two is up. Two is up and four is down. Two is up and four is down. All right. How the fuck is that not the combination? What the hell? One's not supposed to be up, is it? What the fuck? What the hell did I do? There we go. Let's put four up. And one is supposed to be down. Okay, well then four goes up. I mean down. Three is supposed to be up, right? Nope. <laughs> Three is not supposed to be up. You know, I really should have paid attention to these. Would save us a lot of time, but you know what? Fuck it, brute force it, right? Ooh. 
Well, one stays like that, so... Yeah, there we go. You know what? I should have saved it after that, but I think we have a, uh... I think we got a save point on the other side, right? We also have a save point over here that I can just use. I think we have a save point over here, don't we? Is that it? Let me see. Nope. I don't... Ooh. We may not have a save point, actually. Not one nearby, anyways. <laughs> oh man, I'm not sure if you guys heard that. I had to, like, let out a big-ass yawn. All right, was there a save point over here? No. How's my energy looking? We're full. Have I only found like one clue this whole entire fucking level? Oh, this place is full of nothing but poltergeist, huh? How do I move this? the rocket ship? The motherfucker threw Saturn at me. He's picking up chairs and shit. Fuck. Oh. Oh, wow, I gotta do it all over again, huh, don't I? Oh, no, I don't. Just gotta be careful and make sure not to hit these guys. Oh, wait. You want the fuck? Huh? What the hell does this do? Oh my god, there's three of them? <laughs> I thought it was I thought it was only uh I thought it was only two. Wait. Wait, can I climb up in there? Am I, am I supposed to climb up in there? Fuck out the way, spooky guys. Let me in. Goodbye, Moon. Hello, Moon. <laughs> Jesus. Can I fall? Okay. 
Thought I almost walked off the edge there. That would have been no bueno. Mucho no bueno. Oh my god. <laughs> the dog in my house started just losing its mind. Oh, let me go check out what the hell that's about. Alright, future self, if this doesn't work, then, uh... <laughs> if this doesn't work, then, um... You know, redo this part later, okay? Cool. Alright, we're back. Dog started losing its damn mind because, uh... Because someone else is in the house. <laughs> And just leave it like that because someone else is in the house, right? Creepy as shit. Speaking about that, I was at my job, right? And and for those, for those of you who watch my streams, you know that I work like overnight security and shit like that. Um, and recently <laughs> there was a moment where like there was only like two of us there that night, right? Usually there's like more, but uh, you know. Our, uh, our company recently changed, so there's definitely some people who, like, left and stuff like that. So, there's only two of us. And there's a fucking moment where... Oh, my God. Chill out, tree. You didn't have to fuck me up. There's a moment where, um... Oh, fuck. Where, um... Dude, uh, dude who's, like, operating the cameras radios, radios me in, right? And he goes, like, hey, uh, I just got a call from the one of the managers or whatever. They said they were looking at the camera for some fucking reason. They were just looking at the cameras through their phone at night, I guess. I don't know. Um, you know, instead of letting the alarm do its damn thing. But they're... Son of a bitch, you piece of shit. Um, but he goes, like, yeah, they were looking through the cameras, and they said that they saw someone just standing outside the store. And I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, what? And he goes, he goes, yeah, can you check that out? Oh, by the way, the I say radio is me. And he called me on my phone, actually, because the radio I had didn't work for some goddamn reason. So, like, <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute. So I asked him, like, oh, well, did you see anybody on the cameras? Because we have a camera that's pointed, like, directly at the shops and shit. And he goes, for some reason, he fucking goes... Oh, I can't get, I, for some reason, he goes, I don't have an angle on it. I can't really get a visual on it. And I was like, oh, well, when did she fucking, when did she call this in? And he's like, oh, about like five minutes ago or something like that. And I'm like, so you're telling me there's a guy that's been standing out there for like five minutes and you didn't see him on the camera at all? Like what? <laughs> all right, whatever. I'll go check it out, even though I don't want to, right? And I'm using my phone instead of a radio because fucking the radio is busted for some reason. So I get there and there's like, you know, there's no one there, right? I can't, I don't see any, you know, nothing's wrong with the store. Nothing's wrong around the store. I don't see anybody here. And it was also, by the way, it was raining at night. It was like raining very heavily. Like I could barely fucking, you know, like I could, like if you were driving, you could barely see. I was about to say, I can barely see. If you were driving, you would barely be able to see, right? Because it was foggy and raining and all that other bullshit. But, um... Where the fuck am I supposed to go? Also, get over here, spooky bitch. I'm gonna die, by the way. Good thing I saved. Good thing I saved! Oh, shit, he's gonna get me. Um. But yeah, I go out there, and it's like, ain't no one here. I'm talking to the dude on the radio, and I'm like... I'm like, did a... I'm like... <laughs> I'm like, so you didn't see nobody. I'm like, can you pull any of the cameras up and like tell me if you if they were there? Can you see like where they went or anything? He's like, yeah, no, I don't really have a visual. And I'm like, dude, there's like fucking I'm sitting in my I'm sitting there and I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, dude, there's like a bunch of cameras around here. You got like fucking five monitors in front of you. You're telling me you don't got nothing. Bullshit. But anyways, it was the guy's break or whatever. Right, like his break was coming up in like five minutes or whatever. So I was like, whatever, I'll fucking just switch spots with you. I'll do the cameras while you go on break or whatever. And like, I go in the cameras and I fucking, I'm dead. 
Oh, I lost my cool. Does it fill back up afterwards? Oh no, we just scared scared now. Okay, cool. Um, but yeah, I, you know, I open the cameras and I fucking check them and I'm like, dude, you got perfect visual here. You got nothing but visual here. What the hell is he talking about? So I rewind it and it's like, nobody was there. And I'm like, dude, all you had to do was rewind it like five minutes back to see if someone was standing there or not. You can't, you can't fucking like, like it was a stormy night. <laughs> and and the man was by himself and his radio didn't work and he heard that a man was standing outside outside of the shop like you can't do that you can't fucking radio someone in and go uh and go um where the fuck am i supposed to go you can't like you know radio doesn't work right there's only two of us there it's raining out it's cold it's dark you can't just be like, yeah, uh, so someone was just standing out there. Like, I, I even asked, like, what the fuck? I was like, did they, were they doing anything? What, what did they say? Were they doing anything or anything? Right, were they trying to get in the store? Were they looking into the store? And he's like, no, the manager just said they were just standing outside the store. It's like, that's, that's creepy as fuck, man. <laughs> can't be saying that shit. can't just be like, yeah, man, someone's out there. Good luck. Like, fuck you. Get your ass up and come check with me. Or at least try and look on the cameras. What the fuck? <laughs> Get me something, right? Something to work with. Where the hell am I supposed to be going? I'm a chef, chef too. What else should I be? Please don't take off. 